there's a sled for every attitude in the wide world of Arctic Cat. The Mountain Cat with Alpha One not only owns the deep stuff, it reinvents the very idea of what a rear suspension system can be. Instead of a traditional twin rail design, the Alpha One has a lightweight, rigid, single beam system. Years in development and only from Arctic Cat, it allows the track to flex and conform to the snow. Just one of its many benefits, better flotation to get out of the hole. When I first saw this design, I was like, why didn't Mountain Snowbills have this 20 years ago? Getting in the deep snow, it just grabs and goes a lot easier. And I got on the snowmobile and it absolutely blew my mind. With a single beam in the middle, the pivot point now moves to the center, which gives you incredible control and maneuverability with far less effort. It only makes sense to have the track contouring to the mountain, allowing you to have more track on the snow. This thing just turns inside of itself so effortlessly, you know, it'll spin around on a dime and just takes very little rider input to get it to do what you want it to do. When we're side hilling and we're, we're cutting across old tracks, this thing, it's like you have a whole nother suspension in the back with that track absorbing those hard tracks. It makes it so efficient on the steep slopes to ride this snowmobile. It's so easy, feels light. You just feel like you could keep going at the end of the day and not be fatigued. Part of the Alpha One's incredible performance comes from its innovative and lightweight design. Its single beam is made of extruded aluminum and magnesium and has a hollow box support system. That means fewer parts, and fewer parts means less weight. Well, the skid is more efficient. You know, it's got bigger bogey wheels on the back. It's 15 pounds lighter. To help keep sled weight down even more, this single beam system helps you in one other way. There virtually is no snow buildup on this thing compared to a twin rail in deep, heavy, wet snow. Snow weighs a lot. Yeah, and you look at this alpha skid. Oh, this one cleans out better than ever. There's nothing to hold snow on that skid. The Mountain Cat with the Alpha One single beam rear suspension. The most innovative way to never stop ripping in the wide world of Arctic Cat. Mountains call. Roar back. Carve up the wide world of Arctic Cat on a new mountain cat. The Panteras are built on two different chassis the Pro Tour and the larger Pro Tour XT. Let's start with the Pro Tour. The Pro Tour chassis, as opposed to the Pro Climb or the Pro Cross, it's a little stronger. It's built, uh, it's a single one-piece tunnel. It has uh, steel tube uh, running board supports, uh, steel tube bumper, things that make it a stronger vehicle for the capability of hauling a little more cargo, uh, of course hauling two people for, for touring application. Really the differences come uh, from the drive shaft back and that's uh, it's just a longer chassis with more strength built in for the ability to carry carry more stuff, carry an extra person and house longer tracks which are, are typically uh, a better application for touring. The Pro Tour chassis features the Arctic race suspension up front and a 146 inch track and slide action rear suspension for ultimate comfort on the trail. The larger Pro Tour XT chassis is featured in the Pantera XT Limited. This chassis also sports the ARS front suspension for great trail handling. In back, it employs a wide track and the articulating extra action rear suspension making the Pantera 7000 XT Limited a very capable sport utility machine as well. And what the articulating rear suspension uh, does is it basically means the, the rear of the suspension is allowed to uh, move up and down 
uh, as the as the skid frame works through the bumps or through the snow, which essentially shortens up the the rear. So on a wide track uh, 7000 XT like this, you have 20 inch wide track by 154 inch length, which is very long track, very wide track, which is a lot of traction on the ground. Um, what the articulating frame does is it allows that the back of that track to come up, which shortens the feel of the snowmobile when you're riding it forward or when you're riding it on the trails. But where a real big benefit comes in is where you're backing up in the snow, that rear of that skid frame will come up and want to get up on top of the snow versus go straight or dig into the snow. The Pantera 7000 XT Limited also features the wide range three speed transmission with easy shift. We have a high, a low, and a super low, which gives you the ability to still be geared up high enough to run uh, at trail speeds and, and still be able to run across the lake as fast as you want, but also has the ability to gear down to a more reasonable level for uh, mid trail use or light pulling and things like that. Come to the end of the trail. Keep going. Cross over into the wide world of Arctic Cat on a new High Country or Cross Country XF. kids put down first tracks in the wide world of Arctic Cat on a brand new ZR200 or 120. dead of winter and you've never felt more alive find your path into the wide world of arctic cat on a new zr well, the procross chassis is a very strong chassis it's got a two-piece tapered tunnel design that gives you great stiffness as well as good ergos with the sidewalls being tipped in. Allows the rider to stand up, sit down, nice transition. The front bulkhead area with the lower frame design is all a boxed in, very rigid chassis that ties in with the side and over spar structure. All in all, all those components bolted together box the Procross chassis in and make it very durable, very rigid, and lightweight. We learned a lot of what we learned on the racetrack to help develop the Pro Cross Pro Climb Arctic Race front suspension. It's very unique compared to a lot of the other snowmobiles out there with its wide arms, forged aluminum spindles. Not only does it make the suspension function well, but it also helps with the chassis design. So with the wide spacing, what it does is it allows the suspension linkages and all the joints, if there's any bit of clearance, which every bushing axle has to have, having the upper and lower arm spaced further apart keeps a tighter suspension system overall. So that's one of the big advantages with having that upper and lower arm spread apart as far as we do. 
The slide action suspension was developed on the racetrack with Russ Ebert, Kirk Hibbert. They've raced it for quite a few years in development. It's got a great geometry to it in the sense and how it functions. It's the only coupled suspension in the industry that allows you to control transfer but yet maintain full front arm travel. That's the big plus with that suspension is how it slides in the front arm as it couples up in the rear and maintains the front arm travel but yet still gives you good cornering. The Team Driven Clutch is very proven design. They're well known in the transmission clutch industry. We've seen great success on the racetrack with the Team Clutch and now being able to put it in our consumer sleds is very exciting to me uh, because it's a very reputable, very durable, lightweight clutch. This is about competition, about winning, about leaning into performance and riding like never before. It's a single one-piece tunnel. It has uh, steel tube uh, running board supports, uh, steel tube bumper, things that make it a stronger vehicle for the capability of hauling a little more cargo, of course hauling two people for, for touring application. This vehicle is, is designed for that person who likes to get out and meander around or I'll say kind of boondock through the woods, haul light loads, becomes a real economical option for somebody who's looking for light utility use. The Pro Ute WT boasts a larger, heavy utility chassis built for on and off trail duty. This Bearcat gets the powerful 7,000 three cylinder EFI four stroke with 135 class horsepower. This chassis employs a longer, wider track. On a wide track uh, 7000 XT like this, you have 20 inch wide track by 154 inch length, which is very long track, very wide track, which is a lot of traction on the ground. What the articulating frame does is it allows that, the back of that track to come up, which shortens the feel of the snowmobile when you're riding it forward or when you're riding it on the trails. But where a real big benefit comes in is where you're backing up in the snow, that rear of that skid frame will come up and want to get up on top of the snow versus go straight or dig into the snow. Another nice benefit of our new articulating skid frame is the ability to lock and unlock it so if you do want to lock it in for for certain use you can. Uh, it's a real easy pull and plug pin and the reason you would maybe lock it in is if you want more traction on the ground uh, you could lock the frame and get all that track there for pulling. That'll help you keep your ski pressure, it'll help you keep more track on the ground for, for pulling large loads. The story continues with the incredible wide range 3 speed or WR3 transmission. We have a high, a low, and a super low, it, which gives you the ability to still be geared up high enough to run uh, at trail speeds and, and still be able to run across the lake as fast as you want, but also has the ability to gear down to a more reasonable level for mid-trail use or light pulling and things like that. But what's really neat about our, our new system is it's going to allow you to go to a super low gear, which is going to be over 40% lower than anybody else in the industry. It gives you the opportunity to go at such slow speeds that you can get heavy loads moving without any fear or risk of belt or drivetrain issues. Built to work. Built to play. Built to let you ride more. Panteras are built on two different chassis, the Pro Tour and the larger Pro Tour XT. Let's start with the Pro Tour. The Pro Tour chassis, as opposed to the Pro Climb or the Pro Cross, it's a little stronger. It's built, uh, it's a single one-piece tunnel. It has uh, steel tube uh, running board supports, uh, steel tube bumper, things that make it a stronger vehicle for the capability of hauling a little more cargo, uh, of course hauling two people for, for a touring application. Really the differences come uh, from the drive shaft back and that's uh, it's just a longer chassis with more strength built in for the ability to carry carry more stuff, carry an extra person and house longer tracks which are, are typically a better application for touring. The Pro Tour chassis features the Arctic race suspension up front, 
and a 146-inch track and slide action rear suspension for ultimate comfort on the trail. The larger Pro Tour XT chassis is featured in the Pantera XT Limited. This chassis also sports the ARS front suspension for great trail handling. In back, it employs a wide track and the articulating extra action rear suspension, making the Pantera 7000 XT Limited a very capable sport utility machine as well. And what the articulating rear suspension uh, does is it basically means the, the rear of the suspension is allowed to uh, move up and down uh, as, the, as the skid frame works through the bumps or through the snow, which essentially shortens up the, the rear. So on a wide track uh, 7000 XT like this, you have 20 inch wide track by 154 inch length, which is very long track, very wide track, which is a lot of traction on the ground. Um, what the articulating frame does is it allows that, the back of that track to come up, which shortens the feel of the snowmobile when you're riding it forward or when you're riding it on the trails. But where a real big benefit comes in is where you're backing up in the snow, that rear of that skid frame will come up and want to get up on top of the snow versus go straight or dig into the snow. The Pantera 7000 XT Limited also features the wide range three speed transmission with easy shift. We have a high, a low, and a super low, which gives you the ability to still be geared up high enough to run uh, at trail speeds and, and still be able to run across the lake as fast as you want, but also has the ability to gear down to a more reasonable level for uh, mid-trail use or light pulling and things like that. You've got a thumb, now you can calibrate your ski and rear shocks on the fly. Thanks to IACT, our interactive Arctic Cat technology suspension system, you can instantly adjust your Fox Zero IQS gas shocks to any of three firmness settings just by pushing a button on the left handlebar control. And only Arctic Cat offers it as original equipment. There's a lot of times where you really want to change your settings just according to the terrain that you're riding. And this really helps when you can do it as quick as you can. Okay, you ain't got to do the clickers or switch each one and oh, decide which yeah. one you're doing. Remember that when we would be riding really slow and it was time to pick up the pace and we'd have to get off our sleds and click those things? That's in the past now. One try and you'll know it's designed by people who ride for people who ride. It's just so easy to do with your thumb. You're looking right at your speedometer, you see it right at your dash. It's a great thing. It's right there and how big the screens are and it says soft, medium, firm, just as big as can be. There's no slow down time at all in changing your shocks. The iAct electronic suspension. Oh, I think it's going to be one of the best things on the market for this year. I do too. The most innovative way to never stop ripping in the wide world of Arctic Cat. Speed, power, maneuverability, new lighter weight packages. No one is moving things forward in the backcountry like Arctic Cat. Arctic Cat is listening to what the consumers are wanting and they're doing it and doing it quickly. The Ascender platform on all Arctic Cat M sleds is one example. Our engineers narrowed each running board an inch compared to previous designs and made the overall profile 10% skinnier. For mountain riders like you, that means better side hill performance and venting, as well as making it easier to lay the sled over in deep snow. That's the cool thing about Arctic Cat is we have guys that are mountain riders out in the mountains testing our equipment, putting them through the paces. The engineers, they never quit. They just keep working on these things. The belly pan is now reshaped to move your feet forward for better ergonomics. Plus, we've dropped the drive shaft angle. That makes for a flatter approach angle with more floatability and maneuverability, improved handling, and more available horsepower for climbing, carving, side hilling, and boondocking. It's good to be Arctic Cat right now. I mean, everything about Arctic Cat, the direction Arctic Cat's going, is just stoked. For unheard of control in deep snow, take a look at a mountain cat with the new Alpha One rear suspension system. And industry first, it's changing the idea of what was ever thought possible. Instead of a traditional twin rail design, the Alpha One has a lightweight, rigid, single beam system. It allows the track to flex and conform to the snow. One of its many benefits, 
better flotation to get out of the hole. When I first saw this design, I was like, why didn't mountain snowmobiles have this 20 years ago? And I got on the snowmobile and it absolutely blew my mind. With a single beam in the middle, the pivot point now moves to the center, which gives you incredible control and maneuverability with far less effort. This thing just turns inside of itself so effortlessly, you know, it'll spin around on a dime and just takes very little rider input to get it to do what you want it to do. You just feel like you could keep going at the end of the day and not be fatigued. The single beam is made of extruded aluminum and magnesium and has a hollowed box support system, so it has fewer parts for less weight. Plus, it keeps weight down in one other way. There virtually is no snow buildup on this thing compared to a twin rail in deep, heavy, wet snow. There's nothing to hold snow on that skid. Check out the new M sleds and see how innovative the backcountry can be in the wide world of Arctic Cat. Over five years in the making, thousands of hours of testing, the Arctic Cat 8000 SeaTech 2 two stroke engine. The evolved high output 8000 follows on the heels of our award winning 6000 model, built in our very own plant in St. Cloud, Minnesota. The 160 class horsepower twin cylinder laydown engine is built to deliver responsiveness and run quality for a smooth yet powerful ride. Power starts with maximum efficiency. Dual stage injection or DSI reduces the distance fuel has to travel. Oil mixes with the fuel and directly injects into the cylinder's boost port side. This increases performance and fuel economy while reducing emissions. At lower RPMs, the mixture enters on top of the piston. At higher RPMs, the mixture travels through the piston slot with a small amount of oil and is delivered to the engine's wrist pin bearings for superior lubrication. This new DSI system produces some impressive numbers when compared to the previous model. You'll notice greater oil and fuel efficiency, even at peak power. The electronic oil pump also maximizes efficiency. It precisely measures fuel to oil ratios by RPM and altitude, dramatically improving fuel and oil consumption. But we didn't stop there. We designed an optimized combustion chamber shape that maximizes combustion efficiency. Further proof that every detail down to the millimeter has been perfected. Beyond efficiency, it's also built to just plain run. A fuel rail damper creates more consistent balance between cylinders for a smooth, glitch-free ride. The new 8000 has torque and speed to spare, due in part to a new exhaust valve control that greatly improves low and mid-range torque. You'll notice quicker throttle response even at higher elevations. You'll also enjoy easier and more consistent starting and a knock control system designed for several fuel scenarios. It all adds up to the greatest evolution of an engine we've ever made. The latest in high performance engine technology is ready to dominate in the wide world of Arctic Cat.